Hey there, I am doing something a little different today and filming a video. This is not a normal occurrence for me, but I really wanted to share what was in my hospital bag. I'm at 39 weeks pregnant today and starting to really feel it. I've had a really lucky pregnancy, but now I am ready for this baby to be here. I feel huge and tired and hot and yeah, so it's time. Um, and with that, uh, I've had my hospital bag packed for about a week and a half now. It's been in my car just in case, uh, but I've little by little started to add things to it and it started to get really heavy. And so I decided I was gonna move everything over into a suitcase, be a little bit more portable, and figured why not share with you what's inside it. Uh, some of you guys might benefit from that and that would be really cool to share. So um, I also uh, got an additional breast pump bag that I'm bringing with me and so it just made sense not to have too many bags that I have to carry on my arm uh, and you'll kind of see some of the cool features associated with that in the video. But uh, yeah, I just wanted to kind of share that this part of the journey with you and link anything that you might want to include in your hospital bag. Quickly do a scan. Um, so there's my away carry-on um, and some of the goodies here. It is a combination of um, essential items and items that I think are just more uh, for creating a peaceful environment. So, uh, yeah, not all of them would be necessary, but could be fun. So the first item is the bag itself. This is my away carry-on. I love this bag. Um, it's really easy to travel with. It rolls, you know, glides so easily. Uh, I'll show you the inside later, but um, it has really secure pockets, and yeah, this guy gets a lot of use. Um, so I guess I'll dive right in. This is a new bag. This is the Sarah Wells Abbey um, breast pump bag. So my hospital in our birthing class recommended bringing your breast pump um, to work with the lactation consultant to really get a hang of using your bag or using your pump and uh, What I love about it besides being beautiful and huge um, Which you can like see it's got two pockets like this. There's my cute little burst pump. Hello um, A lot of the parts are downstairs right now because I was sterilizing them uh, you can come in here. This is where you would actually store your milk. It has a cool like separate wet dry bag, uh, a place to store your laptop. I have uh, FMLA paperwork in there right now and uh, a baby book for getting baby's feet and hands. Um, but what I also love about it is that this little pocket back here can either be a pocket for snacks or whatever, or you can unlatch it. Let's see if I can do this one handed. Unzip it and slide it through your handlebars. So that is my plan to make this completely portable so much easier. Check that out. That's gonna be awesome. So um, got that, got the breast pump, the bag, come on over here to the boppy pillow, also goes along with nursing, um, so this is just to help because you're going to be so tired and want to have help propping up baby, so, um, not only is my pillow in here, but I've put in a, um, water resistant, uh, cover so that goes on over the pillow and then this cute little guy he's so soft um, 
will go over the water resistant cover. So when this gets all gross, it'll hit the cover and won't nasty up the pillow. So um, I'm gonna link all these things like a true YouTuber. Links below um, in case you're interested in any of this stuff. Um, all right, so over here is um, a towel. We are told bring your own towel because the hospital towels are awful and bring them in a color that um, the hospital won't use. So don't bring a white one. Um, so black towels, just shower a little bit uh, more comfortably. So then in here I just have like shampoo and body wash and the loofah, toothpaste, deodorant, all that kind of stuff. Um, yeah, so, uh, moving on into maybe some less essential items, but fun. Um, this is our diffuser. We bought him in Newfoundland, uh, and named it Timbit because it looks like the Canadian little, uh, versions of donut holes. They call them Timbits. And so this is our Timbit. And with that, um, I've got a couple of uh, scents. This one's just an unwind blend and then just straight lavender, uh, which can also be used as massage oil, uh, which gets into bringing this little rolly massage guy uh, and this uh, really hard massage ball. So uh, James could either rub this on me or if I needed to just like put it against the wall. Uh, I've done that at home a few times. Um, so then I've also got this uh, eye mask. He's really thick. I think you can actually like cool this and it's got like gel in it. Um, but just for trying to nap in uh, any time of day and you've got the nurses and everyone coming in and uh, yeah, so try to sleep with an eye mask. Uh, these are items that um, are absolutely, completely 100% uh, fun, <laughs> not, not necessary, but um, I read them on another YouTuber's uh, post and I just thought they sounded so fun for creating like a really beautiful environment. They're um, just copper string lights, they're battery operated. You do have to buy the batteries, so I've already loaded them up. Uh, but I got two sets of those just to string around the room, uh, which reminds me I need to add tape to this bag so that if I want to tape them up on a wall or something, but I may just string them around the room. And the other thing is these uh, flameless candles. So I've got about a set of five to just put around the room. Um, again, they don't come with batteries, but I've already put the batteries in and they just kind of flicker. So pretty uh, for creating just that soothing, calm environment when uh, you might need it. I, um, I made a playlist, which the portable speaker is in James's bag. Uh, he's got the snacks and the speaker and the chargers and all that kind of stuff. Uh, so I'll make sure and include that as uh, items to bring, but they're not in my bag. Um, but I don't know if we'll, uh, if we'll want a more soothing environment or if I'm going to want a more like power through environment. I've got songs for both, uh, but the candles will be nice either way. So moving on to clothes, uh, I've got both a pair of slippers that are uh, rubber bottom, so no slip for the hospital floor. And I ordered these socks. Um, I actually got them in three colors, but I'm only bringing one pair. Uh, they're pink. They've got those like grippies on the bottom. Um, and they're kind of ballet style, so they crisscross over the foot. Uh, super cute. These ones came in like pink, blue, and black. Um, and so, yeah, uh, just for being comfortable walking around, not slipping. Um, I have, let's go, I guess, this way from that. Um, this is a set I got off Etsy, 
It's amazing. It's a matching robe, a delivery gown, and nursing like pajama basically. So the difference being that in the nursing pajama, you literally, it's just a piece some stretchy fabric. You can pull this down over one shoulder, but it's just like one, you know, solid, no zipper, no buttons, no nothing. Um, the robe obviously is just very stretchy material that can just go over everything. And then the actual delivery gown, which you're obviously probably gonna get messy and not want to wear after delivery, um, can unbutton here. So immediate skin to skin, pull this down. Uh, but it also is buttons down the back so that um, you can have epidural access and nurses can get to whatever they need to very easily, but you're not stuck wearing uh, a nasty hospital gown. So that was really important to me. I bought this like really early into our pregnancy uh, and I'll link that Etsy site and she's got a million fabrics and you know colors and all that you can choose. So um, from there, the going home outfits, um, I got two things. So this one I just got at, uh, I think Target, um, just says new to the crew and has a little pair of pants, uh, cause it's probably gonna be cold, tiny little thing. And, um, I need to get a little hat that will match this, but I haven't found it yet. Um, and then I also have a swaddle set. So we might swaddle them home, um, or at least swaddle them in the hospital. Um, and this I thought was cute because it kind of matched with the color here. And then I actually have a sweatshirt for James that's in his hospital bag that's this color as well. Uh, just says dad on it. So um, I do want to probably grab another outfit in a size zero to three months because our baby's measuring big and he might not even fit in the newborn size outfit. So. Um, in his drawer, I have a couple more outfits. I'll probably throw one in there, but I just wanted something super soft, and I thought these little guys were so cute. Um, and then my going home outfit, um, I've also got, these aren't just nursing bras, they said uh, to bring. Um, they just super easy to pull over in the middle of the night. Um, if I'm wearing the nursing gown, I might not even wear a nursing bra, but for going home anyway, or um, just, I don't know, just in case I need them. I grabbed two. These were from Target. Um, so I'll link that. Uh, and then just a throw on easy stretchy dress. They said put something in a size, um, six month pregnancy, like about whatever size you were six month, six months pregnant. Um, I've been able to wear this all the way to term. So I know it'll fit and it's just super comfy and stretchy, so uh, easy to throw on. And then just a pair of shoes, again, rubber bottoms so I don't slip and uh, nothing too crazy there. Uh, so that's everything. I, uh, I'm gonna go drink some water and try and cool down, uh, but I wanted to share kind of the, the essentials and the uh, little extras that I'm bringing with me and um, I'll show you the whole thing all packed up and uh, yeah and then all the little extras that my husband's bringing that's gonna make our uh, you know stay complete because obviously like so this isn't absolutely everything uh, but they get to share in that too so yeah uh, hope that helps some of you guys and uh, be back some other time you may notice I've switched from the Away carry-on to the large checked bag so that I can include the boppy pillow in there and just have everything all nice and neat in one place.